publicly released video shows how a man in police custody shot himself while in the back of a patrol car. It's yet another instance of a person in custody managing to get their hands on a gun. New at 10 News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall breaks down that video. And Brandon, this was the suspect's own gun that police did not find during a search. Yeah, that's what it looks like when police searched him. They found bullets, but somehow missed the gun. And the police department tonight tells me that officer Caleb Helson is sorry for what happened. A warning, some might find this video disturbing. Dash cam video shows Gallatin officer Caleb Helson and another respond near Waffle House. All right, Barn, can you stay right there for me? After an employee said a man threatened to kill one of them with a knife. All right, step back. All right, boy, step back. You got a gun knife on? The officers met 27 year old Wendell Wilson outside. Step back. Step back. 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 Keep coming back. Keep coming back. Stop. Go down to your knees. They would put handcuffs on Wilson and then search him and his belongings. What's in your front pocket here? A charger, a key. Where's the steak knife at? It's in their restaurant. It's in their restaurant. Yes. You don't have anything on you? No. Okay. While Officer Helson searched Wilson, the other received statements from witnesses. What's all these bullets for? It's an heirloom. The officer would find several rounds of 22 ammo inside Wilson's wallet. Okay, do you have a rifle or anything on you? No. Anywhere whatsoever? Not currently. Not After reading either. Wilson his rights, Helson placed him in the back of the patrol car. Devil. We're code seven. I'll be transporting this subject. To they would eventually drive to the sheriff's office. Six one down. We're nice seven to jail. For nearly three minutes, Wilson tried to get out of his handcuffs. Hey, right, buddy. What are you doing with your handcuffs back there? The police report states when he got out of his cuffs, he reached inside his jacket. Hey, put your hands back behind your back. Grabbed a gun. Right now. And shot himself once in the head. Oh god. He shot himself. Y'all help? I didn't even know he had a gun. After reviewing last month's incident, Gallatin police say when Officer Helson made the decision to take Wilson to the sheriff's office, apparently he had a weapon concealed and we didn't know what he He failed to completely search Wilson and also did not double check to make sure the handcuffs were on tight enough. That's a little bit. He must have missed it in his front waistband. Now, after the TBI's investigation, Officer Helson was suspended for four days and he was also retrained on how to handcuff suspects. In the newsroom tonight, Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5.